Hello, Stampers. I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabub.com coming to you live, not live, from Menasha, Wisconsin. So, you guys, last week I said I would be live tonight, but unfortunately, uh, Dina had to go to Minneapolis this weekend for a graduation. And so she's driving home from Minneapolis to Iowa all day today. So rather than have her come here and us leave from here, because you know we're going to Wyoming tomorrow, I um, am going to be driving to Iowa. So while I'm supposed to be live tonight, I'll be on the road. I have a four hour trip to Dina's house and then we're leaving first thing in the morning for Sheridan, Wyoming. Yay, I'm so excited. I am actually kind of packed. And um, the other thing going on is that my family is not very happy with me because I'm leaving in the summer. And we usually don't go any place in the summer because that's our time to be here. The family comes here and gathers every weekend and, and sometimes during the week. And so they're a little miffed with me that mom is leaving. <laughs> I told Barb that, oh, my family's so mad at me. And she goes, yeah, because we're the glue that holds the family together. And sometimes the glue needs to get renewed. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. We're getting renewed. Anyhow, so I decided to pre-record this Facebook Live because I have some great projects to share with you and because I promised you that I would be here tonight. And now I'm not live, but I will still be here. So while you're watching this, I will be driving to Iowa. Everybody keep your fingers crossed that everything goes good. Um, I have to show you guys something funny. So I put on my grocery list that, or the grocery list, Steve does the grocery shopping and I put on the grocery list that I needed snacks for my trip. And oh my gosh, he's always in charge now since he's retired, mind you, of trip snacks and he does a great job of picking out all the things that I like so I have to show you what he got me it's a big bag it's a long ways to Wyoming right so first of all we have my favorite jalapeno potato chips yeah I'm gonna have to have lots of water for that then he bought us some oops hang on some Gardettos those are always delicious right and then we have uh, sour cream and onion Pringles. Obviously, he has no problem with my weight right now. <laughs> Some regular Pringles. Uh, I have this for the licorice. Who doesn't love licorice, right? And then he bought me this giant bag of candy, and it's all my favorites. So excited. Well, I'm not really too excited about Reese's Pieces. I do love Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, but they'll have to do. But he also told me I had to leave some of them behind. So I can't take this whole bag. So we'll have to transfer some out of there. But also on my list was all the makings for an old fashioned. Barb has never had an old fashioned. So Kelly is going to treat her to a special treat this week. I asked for a bottle of Southern Comfort. I don't have this big of a drinking problem, Steve. Come on. That is a huge bottle. I don't know. I don't know. Is that like some kind of a little jab? No, it's not. And then I asked for some old fashioned mix. I have never used that before, but I've had old fashions with old fashioned mix and it's pretty good. He bought me a bottle of bitters. Yay. And a bottle of cherries. Yay. I asked for an orange. Last but not least, we had a little bit of a fail here. Olives, but they're baby olives and they're supposed to be the giant ones. So we'll have to have a little talk about that. <laughs> but here are all my goodies for our trip. And no, we're not gonna be drinking on the road. We don't do that. We have enough issues in our life without adding anything ridiculous like that to it but we will have an old fashioned or two while we're in Sheridan. The other thing that we love to do when we go to Sheridan is shoot the potato gun. <laughs> and I will try to remember to share some videos with you guys of us shooting the potato gun because it's hysterical. The sheriff, Barb's husband, loves to get out the potato gun for us so we can shoot it. And Barb told us to bring warm clothes because we are going to the sheriff 
wants to take us up the mountain again. And I think last time we saw like 20 or 30 moose going up the mountain, which I love. Then she also sent us a screenshot that told us one of the days, I believe it's Tuesday that we're there, it's gonna be 108 degrees. I don't know how many warm clothes we're gonna need, but it does get colder in the mountain. So that should be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. All right, I want to award prizes from our Facebook Live last week, and I just picked names for that. So. First off, we have for commenting, please make sure you leave a comment on the YouTube, um, under the YouTube video or on the Facebook page, and I will combine them and do drawings the next time I'm going to be live, which let me tell you about. Um, I am still going to be at Barb's house next Sunday, which is June 20th, so I may not be live again until the 27th. I just want to let you guys know that today is June 13th. So just so you have, you know, know kind of what my schedule is, I have some of these beautiful gold glitter dots, and this is a half a pack. It is going out to Tracy Bazemore from McCanopy, Florida. I bet you it's hot down there, right? Tracy, these are going to be on their way to you. Before I leave, I'm going to put them in a mail. I have all the envelopes and the addresses ready to roll for these, so... I don't want to delay prizes, right? That was for commenting last week. So please make sure wherever you're coming from that you're commenting. Um, I can only send these out to my um, followers in the U.S. We can't send product outside the country. So just know that. I'm sorry. Um, next up, beautiful, beautiful hand-penned paper. I have a whole half a pack here. And this is for sharing my video. So you can go on to Facebook and you can share with the share button and share this to your profile. And that really helps me build my business, helps it to grow. It gets it out to more people. And I certainly appreciate it. Last week, Judy Dempton of D land, Florida, another Florida is in the house tonight. Um, Judy is going to be getting a half a pack of the hand penned designer series paper. So congratulations, Judy. Next up, I wish I could remember who gave this to me and it was just like last week. I could have gone online and looked. I can't remember and I'm sorry, but we do appreciate the fact that somebody ordered two of these and she sent it to me so I could give it away. This is the days to remember. This is a current stamp set in our new annual catalog for placing orders throughout the week. There's also a drawing and Christy Carpenter of Sheboygan, Wisconsin. This is on its way to you on Monday. Yay! Okay, where is, let's do a little unicorn action. I have my unicorn and I will be packing it because Dina, Barb, and I all have unicorns. And so there may be some unicorn action going for, on in Wyoming this week. Um, I know that I do a team Facebook question and answer every Tuesday for my team members, which is really fun. But um, I'm sure Dina, Barb, and I will be doing it together. And then we also have team training on Wednesday afternoons. And that's open to everybody, whether they're discount shoppers or business builders, because we show you how to use the website and where to find this and where to find that. And really good tips to make sure that everybody knows about the discounts and all the goodies you get when you're a discount shopper or a business builder. So there'll be lots of unicorns in the house in Sheridan this week. All right, we've given away our prizes. I have two fun folds for you tonight, and oh my gosh, they're stinking adorable. Um, I think I am ready to turn the camera around, and depending on, my family's coming over today because it's hot, it's sunny, it's summer, we have a pool, and everybody's coming over. Um, Steve changed the menu today. He, he explained to me this morning, we decided on chicken, grilled chicken with mozzarella cheese on top and chicken sandwiches as of yesterday, last night, when Anna and Haley and all the kids were here. And today he informed me that he has changed the menu, he has eaten chicken all week, and he wants to have cheeseburgers. Okay. <laughs> He's making cheeseburgers with tater rounds today for the family fun day Sunday. <laughs> okay, I'm going to flip my camera around. I also have some mail to share with you. And don't let me forget to do that. I know you guys can't tell me. I, and I really miss my live audience because I love when you're telling me, Kelly, here's your take your pick tool or Kelly, don't forget this or what's that all about? 
but it is what it is, right? Better not live than not at all. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. My lights just flashed and that's kind of creepy. So I hope nothing happens to our feet here tonight. Okay, we're gonna flip around. I've got some classes to share with you. So that'll be fun. Lots of good, whoops, whoops, hang tight. Sorry, sorry. I hope nobody gets sick from that. Um, lots of fun stuff going on here in the month of June. Okay, am I straight? Does that look? No, it's not very straight, is it? I always like it to kind of be straight because otherwise you feel like you're kind of kitty wampus all the whole time. Eh, good. We're good, right? We'll put our little unicorn right there. Um, I have people that ask me, where do I get these unicorns? Barb actually got them on Amazon, and it's a unicorn keychain. It's got a little button, lights up, and plays music. Her brother sent it to her. He does goofy things like that all the time, so it's kind of funny. Okay, first off, we are going to be talking about my June kit class. Now, this is available after June is over, as long as I have um, supplies, or I should say, I will make up a certain amount of kits, and when I run out of them, they're gone. But as long as I still have some in my inventory, all cut and ready to go, they will be available. We are going to be using, for our first card, the Turtle Friends Bundle. And look at that adorable little turtle. This is the cutest stamp set. I wasn't really sure at first if I needed this, but you're going to see how much fun it is, and you're going to have to have one too. What's included in my turtle class? Well, first of all, we are going to have um, paper lattice. Six of these, I'm sorry, you get 10 of these paper lattices for $6. These are really, really neat little additions to your card fronts. Look how cool, well, huh. let me see if I can find a solid something or another. Where's a solid something? Here, this will be better. This is my new planner. So we have this whole pack is included in the kit, as well as the Bumblebee Gingham Ribbon and these fabulous round and square brads. Did you guys know brads are coming back? I am so excited about that because I really miss them. So we have round ones in here. We've got big round ones. We've got little round ones. They're all black and white. We're going to have a lot of fun with these with our turtle cards. And also a pack of mini dimensionals because who doesn't need some more of those, right? So I just wanted to let you know what's included in the kit. Now you're going to get a pre-cut cardstock pack with eight. You're going to make eight cards, four different designs, two of each. So that cardstock pack for a total of eight. Each one of the cards has its own exclusive video tutorial, written instructions, and photographs. All of that for $42. Now, if you need to add on the bundle, the Turtle Friends bundle, that is an additional $36. Both of those totals include tax and shipping. You can get the whole thing for $78, the kit for $42. And this is an additional 36. So you can get this with the kit. Gosh, that was confusing for 78. Or you can just get the kit for $42. The link for that is on my blog. And my blog is right here. Um, just scroll down until you see the Turtle Friends class. And you fill out the form. Let me know if you want to add the bundle on. That will be shipped with your kit. And I am planning on shipping these. This is a pre-order. I'm planning on shipping these um, around the 23rd of June. We have to get time for people to register for it so I know how much product to get. Just a little FYI on why there's um, a delay there, and that's why. Okay, let's get on with our card because this is so adorable. I'm going to be combining this card that I'm making today. So you're going to have an additional idea besides the ideas in the kit. I'm going to be combining the Turtle Friends with the Biggest Wish stamp set. Oh my goodness. Love, love, love this. And I think, yeah, I have bingo later this month on June 30th. Bingo registration is open. With bingo registration, you get a um, pre-cut cardstock pack for five different cards. And they're the cards that I do for the class. So it's cards and bingo. 
We make five cards in a live class on YouTube just like this. It's $35 and um, you will get a make and take packet so that you can make the cards. Also included in bingo is the Seascape bundle, the nothing's better than bundle. Let me see, I've got these right here. Seascape, nothing's better than with the dies. So both of these have dies and the Biggest Wish stamp set. These are the items we're gonna be using for bingo cards. So if you don't have these, you might wanna add them onto your bingo. If you have something similar, that's fine. You can use that with your make and takes, but it's a whole bunch of fun and I give away tons of prizes. Okay, and they and they involve cash. Like you get gift certificates to order Stampin' Up! product. You can get whatever you want. Bingo again is June 30th. You have to register by the 23rd. It's $35. And then for additional, you can add on these. And that's all in the registration form. You'll find that again on my blog. Okay, let's start stamping. So excited because these cards are just adorable. And of course... These are cards that I either got the idea. I, it's not the exact card, but I either got the idea um, in a swap or from my team members. And oh my gosh, they make the prettiest stuff. I have to tell you guys, it's crazy. Okay, we are going to be using polished pink. This is one of our brand new in colors. I absolutely love it. We've got a little bit of scoring to do with this. Whoops, sorry. Ooh, loud. A little bit of scoring to do with this piece. Now, this is five and a half by ten and a half. So you're going to use almost a full piece of cardstock. But don't worry. You'll see that this card is definitely worth all of that whole piece of cardstock. We're going to score this. Hang on, things are falling here. We're going to score this at four and a quarter on the long side. So four and a quarter five and a quarter and six and a quarter just like that okay let's get this out of the way now i'm going to be using my stamparatus and i love um using this for precision purposes right if you need perfect precision your stamparatus is your best friend and that's what this card requires and you could wing it like, maybe you're much better at this than I am. You could definitely wing it. But here's what I did. I took the Happy from the Biggest Wish stamp set, and I've mounted it over here, and it's upside down, okay? Now, I want that Happy to be going down. Here's This is going to be the front of our card. I want it to go down this side. Oh, and before I get too far, let me tell you, Lisa D'Alessandro is where I got this card idea from, this fun fold. So Lisa, man, you hit it out of the park. This is the cutest little card ever. So what I've done is I figured out where I need to stamp. So I, I, I put my happy stamp on my cardstock here and then closed it and went, yep, that's gonna work perfect. Before I move this, I put some green lines on here and you can see my little green lines. This, this grid paper, is really really nice you get you can order this you get a whole pack of it so you can you know when it gets messy you can just tear out a new one and go to town with it so I am going to put this back in here and I need this to stay in place so I'm just going to drop a magnet right here keep your magnets away from each other you don't want them to break mine have broken many times and then you just have more I guess you know I look on the bright side <laughs> okay I'm going to put a stamp case under here because it's going to keep this flat rather than have it go down like that. It's just easier to work with. And I'm going to use polished pink ink with polished pink cardstock. We're going to ink that up and we're going to close this. Just like that. Now, if this ink that's all over here bothers you, by all means, Take something and wipe it off of there. I kind of got pretty messy with my, with my ink there. And then we're gonna take this and we need it to go up. So we're upside down, right? So we need it to go down or up, however you wanna say it. We're gonna pull this out of the hinge and we're gonna move it down one hinge. We're gonna ink it up again. 
and I'm messy again and we are going to stamp. Yay! See how it's perfect? Yeah. Okay, we have to move it down. This is called hinge stamping. We're gonna move it down one more time. Now we have to get this out of the way because this is gonna get in the way of our stamp. I'm just gonna put it there, make sure everything's still in here and straight. There we go. We're gonna do another hinge. stamp and one more hinge. Isn't that cool? I love lining these up like this because it's just so simple. And then look how absolutely skilled you are. Isn't that fun? Yeah. Okay. Let me get this out of the way. Um, I'm going to actually wipe this off because I'm going to be leaving and I know I'll probably forget to clean it. So I'm just going to clean it up right now. Ooh, did you see my magnets? Be careful. <laughs> Don't let your magnets smack together. Okay. Get that out of the way. And now we're gonna bring in our bone folder and we're going to do our folding. So here's our first score line. And we're going to make sure this is lined up, squared up nicely. I see I scored a little crooked, so you can kind of force it into place. And then we're going to fold this way on that middle fold. And then we're going to fold this way on the last fold. And again, I'm going to force it into place because I got it crooked. <laughs> okay, so this is what we end up with. Okay, this is the front of our card. It looks like this. Let me get a drink. My mouth is getting dry. All right. Now what we're going to do is we are going to take a piece of crumb cake or some other color and um what else do i have here oh i've got polished pink oops and pale papaya i just thought these were going to be pretty together that's why i picked them the pale papaya is two and a quarter by five and a half and then I took a piece of crumb cake that's two by five and a half, and I ran it through that hammered metal embossing folder. This is perfect to use with a turtle, right? Yeah, kind of like turtle shell. We're going to add this to our pale papaya layer. right to the front of our card. So I have to tell you guys, um, I've been kind of rough on Val lately. Um, she's ended up with a lot of bruises after she's been with me. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh, I just needed Jared to come and get her last week before something bad happened. <laughs> I slammed her fingers in the door. A few days before that, she got a big bruise on her cheek. I'm happy to report that yesterday they were here all like afternoon, evening, I did not injure her once. Winning! <laughs> okay, isn't that pretty? That's just kind of attractive, right? I loved this color combination. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my um, linen thread. I keep calling this baker's twine. It is not baker's twine, it is linen thread. And do I want a bigger, I think I do want a bigger um, bow. So I'm going to wrap this around here two, three times, whatever suits your fancy. We're gonna tie a bow. Now these are my bow jigs. Um, a man makes these for one of my team members and then I buy them from her and I have them available to ship off to you. They are $10, that does include shipping. So if anybody would like one, all you need to do is pop me an email, kelly at stampabove.com and I would be happy to invoice you. I have, I think, three people out there that have ordered, asked, you know, to order them, but they haven't paid their invoices from the middle of May. So if you are one of them that has asked for a bow jig and you're like, I never heard back from you, please check your emails because that PayPal invoice is probably in your junk folder. Okay. Here we go. I'm just going to look at how substantial that is. I really like that triple bow there and it's all kind of all over the place, which is exactly what I was looking for. Okay, next thing we have going on. 
I have a layer for the inside. And what I wanted to do to this, let me bring in a piercing mat. That's what I like to stamp on. I wanted to, oh, here we go. Pale papaya. I want to take the little streamers and I'm going to add some streamers to the top of my card. And I don't know exactly what the spacing needs to be to alternate colors, so I'm just gonna try that first. And now I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna turn this over so it's a little more random looking, and do this. That looks cute, doesn't it? We're gonna be celebrating. All right. Then I've got the You Are Turtly Loved. <laughs> Little play on words there. Super cute. I'm gonna stamp that in the polished pink. And then I've got there's two little turtles in here going opposite directions. So I'm gonna come in and stamp my turtle with the polished pink. Isn't that cute? And then we've got the little turtle shell I'm gonna do with the pale papaya. Ooh, I have to stand up so I can get this in the right place. Look at how cute it is. It's so cute. Okay, next up. We've got the inside done now. So I'm gonna add this right to the inside of our card. Whoops, whoops, things are falling. I'm gonna pick that up. There we go, that's a good inside. Okay, and now we've got all these little layers. We're going to take, there's three petal pink, um, and these are, doo -doo -doo, these are all one and three quarters by four, three of them. Then I've got two pale papaya, that are one and a half by three and three quarters and a whisper white that is one and a half by three and three quarters. We're gonna take the whisper white one and we are going to grab the birthday from the biggest whoosh. We've got happy and birthday, lots of great sentiments in here. We are going to stamp that in the polished pink. And we're gonna do that over on the left-hand side. Now, I'm gonna to have to get my head in here so I can see what's going on. Oh, I hope it's straight. Nope, it's pretty crooked. Oh, and I see I didn't clean it very good last time. Hang on. And I don't think I cut any extras, so bear with me. We're gonna do one and three quarters. Or no, one and a half on the white. One and a half by three and three quarters. So. I should have been ready with this. A good idea to use the Stamparatus. Look, I have pink all over my fingers too. Hang on. Even though we're not really live, we are live. We're just streaming to a private Facebook page so that I can upload this to YouTube. So I can't edit any of this stuff out, which makes it a little bit tricky, right? <laughs> yeah, let's try this again. I need to have my head directly over this so I can see what's going on. Yeah, much better. <laughs> okay. Next thing we're gonna do here is we are going to stamp some turtles. Ooh, and I need Memento ink. Where did that go? Hang on. Here it is, right here. Okay, so Memento ink, and I am going to use, we've got the turtle that goes that way. We've got the turtle that goes that way, the little turtle shell, and I'm going to do the turtle that goes that way. I'm gonna stamp that in black ink. Oh, I already blew it again. Doggone it. Let's try it again. Hang on. I forgot something. We're going to put a bird on top of the turtle, so I need a little bit more space. My crown is trying to fall down. 
Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, let's do this again. Here comes our turtle. We're gonna stamp it a little bit closer to the bottom. And then we're going to get a little bit of turtle shell. That looks super cute. And then we've got a little bird. And I am going to stamp the bird in the darker of the two colors here. Hang on, I gotta get my head over it again. <laughs> Look how cute it is, right? My birthday's a little crooked, but you guys, you'll, you'll give me some grace on that, right? Okay, then these are our peach pieces. And what we're gonna do with those is we are going to stamp the other turtle, the one that's going that way. We're gonna stamp that little turtle here and here. And then we need our little turtle shell. And oh, I think I'm just gonna stick with the pale papaya for the shell. Okay, this one's a little wonky, but it'll work. All right. Next, we're gonna take all of these pieces and we're gonna add our layers to that. So here comes one. That looks too big, doesn't it? Hang on a second. It is. This should be, ooh, hang on. I'm gonna cut these wrong. This is one and a half. Oh, this is two inches. It should be at one and three quarters. So hang on, I'm gonna cut that. I'm going to cut this one. One and three quarters. And then this one. All right, now we're back in business. So we're gonna put this in here. Oh, it's still a little bit crooked. You guys will do better, right? I know you will. <laughs> it's hard for me to get my head in there without getting my hair in the camera, which is fine because I did wash it today. I must have black on my hands. Let's try that one again. That one had a... Um, not a very good shell either. Where's my little turtle? This one goes the wrong way. This is my little bird. Here's my little turtle. We'll try that one again. And then a little tiny shell. So now I get a second chance to get this on here a little better. And I did. Yay. Okay. That makes me happier. See, we got black all over that. I don't know how that happened, but it's icky. There we go. Let's get my fingers wiped off before I mess something else up. Oh, I got, look at, I got, that's a mess too. Oh, good Lord. You guys know that'll never work for me. All right, we're going to try this again. We need one and a half by three and three quarters, right? Yep. Third time's a charm. Maybe. Standing up. Oh, That's so much better. So much better. Okay. We need our turtle that goes the opposite way. Down low. Did it right. Then we got the little bird. Right on top of the little turtle. And then we need the turtle shell. And we're going to do that. <sighs> Thank goodness. Good Lord, that was challenging. It's not really that hard, you guys. Not really that hard. Okay, 
there we have it. I'm going to wipe my fingers off again before I make a mess. Okay, now all we have to do is a little bit of turtle stamping <laughs> because we have this big turtle that's super cute. I'm going to use Memento ink and we're going to stamp him three times because we need three turtles. And then we're gonna punch these out so it doesn't matter that that one is crooked, don't worry. This turtle needs a little, hmm, should we use pink or should we use peach? And I'm thinking, I'm gonna go with the pink. I'm gonna use the polished pink. And I need to get this lined up good. Yay, look how cute he is. Okay, and then we'll do that on the other ones too. Now, I'm gonna stamp up these all three the same. I'm going to go ahead and color this one for you. This is Light Soft Suede Stamp and Blend Marker. And I just do his little toenails. Oh, by the way, did you guys see my um, 4th of July? fingernails. I got a little red glitter stripe there and a little star on my blue glitter. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, gorgeous, right? And then on my toes, I just got red. <laughs> my friend Lynn from Australia was just laughing her hiney off over me sticking my feet into the camera. It's like, oh, whatever. I'm among friends, right? <laughs> she thought it was pretty funny. Okay, this is the dark granny apple green. And what I did here is I just went around and outlined inside the lines, just like this, my turtle. Oops, keep that out of the way. And then here's the little turtle mouth. So this morning I went on my bike ride, you guys, and my walk in the nature preserve. And I saw one, two, three, like five deer, which is awesome. Now this is a light granny apple green. I saw five deer and a little woodchuck. He was so cute, it was just a tiny little woodchuck. So it had to be a baby one. The other day I saw a raccoon in a hole in a tree with a bunch of babies. I don't know how many she had, but I could see two of them. They were poking their little heads out of there, so that was really cool. Um, last week or the week before, I saw a baby owl, and I've never seen a baby owl before, so that was pretty cool. And I saw my first fawn on Saturday, and I was so trying to get my um, phone over to camera so I could take a picture that I missed where the fawn went because it moved from when I spotted it. And then it walked right across the trail. I would have had a perfect picture if I hadn't been messing around with my camera. Well, I guess I wouldn't have because I wouldn't have had a picture, right? But Anyways, I was so mad because by the time I could actually get a picture of it, it was in the woods and you can't even see it. So that's why I didn't share it with you. <laughs> but it was so little. It was only like this tall. It was so cute. That just makes my day when I see my wildlife at the park. This is, oh, this is the dark. I wanted to use the light, you guys, but it's too late now. Um, light or dark. Is gonna work and all I'm doing is just drawing my line around the outside of my turtle shell. Look at how cute it is! Ah, I love it! Okay, <laughs> I know. Settle down Kelly. Okay, here comes our little turtle punch. Now you're gonna do this three times and of course through the magic of TV I already have my turtles done for you so you don't have to watch me color three of them but it is totally worth it. Look at the shading. It's just so cute, isn't it? So pretty. Okay, let me find my turtles. Here they are. Oh, I gotta punch these out. Oh, look at how much lighter the shells are. That's interesting, isn't it? I think I must have um, re-inked this. Yeah, I think I did. Okay, so I'm gonna use these other two turtles on the inside, so it won't matter that their shells are lighter. It's fine, right? I've had people ask me, what are these two little circles for? Well, you can do white and then black, and you can just um, put eyes on your turtle if you want to punch it out of colored cardstock without 
coloring it, you can you can do that and then put the little polka dots, the white and then the black on your punched out turtle. Okie dokie, here we go. This is what we're gonna do. Here is where our card is gonna come together. So you're going to take one of your little turtle dudes and you're going to glue it right here, okay? So I'm gonna do that right now and I'm just gonna put some glue right there. You wanna make sure that it's down just a little bit from the top edge, okay? And you wanna make sure that your card is gonna close. So do that before you let it set real good. Then we're going to take this one and we are going to put it on the other side over here. So I'm gonna kind of line this up a little bit first before I glue anything down because I just wanna make sure everything's gonna fit in here the right way and it's going to. Okay, so here comes a little bit of glue here. You don't want them to interfere with each other. They need to not overlap, okay? There we go. And now we're gonna turn it back this way and we're gonna put this one in place. And again, this is a card idea that I got from Lisa D'Alessandro. She's one of my team members. She just makes really cool cards. <laughs> She's the one that gave me my um, spiral bound catalog. So that was cool. Okay, so there we go. Now we're gonna take this turtle. Let me find, here's my dimensionals. We're gonna put this turtle on the front of our card. Just gonna put a couple dimensionals in here. Did I tell you guys that my husband like broke down and turned on the air last week as soon as it got hot? It was so funny because we have like this competition. Look at how cute it is. I love it. We have this competition about who's going to break and turn on the central air first. And I, I think last year we didn't turn it on at all. Like no central air. And he already turned it on last week. <laughs> and now we're going to come in here and we're going to put a turtle right here. Isn't it cute? And we're going to put another turtle right here. So yeah, I've been living in central air, which isn't... It's been nice because it's been so hot here in Wisconsin, and I am not complaining in any way, shape, or form. I love the heat. But I know it would have been... Sure would have been miserable, right? Okay, you guys ready? So here's our cutie patootie little card. It moves. Isn't that cool? So it closes up and then when you open it, look at it. <laughs> I love this. Okay, so I'm going to show you a different colored one that I made. I made this one with Granny Apple Green and um, Misty Moonlight. And before I go too much further, I do have, I think I had embellishments that I wanted to put on here. Where'd, oh, here they are. You guys, these are the new In Color Jewels. I almost forgot. And of course, we have polished pink. So let's get some polished pink goodies on here. I was like, whoops, I always like to do odd numbers. So three, five, whatever that would be. Oh, cute, right? There's that little bit of bling. Check this out. This is the Granny Apple Green and the Misty Moonlight. Same exact card. Ah, what do you think? Pretty cute, right? Yeah. Love this. So there's your little flap card. Now you're going to find all the dimensions are going to be over on my blog. Do I have this written down right? We had two at one and a half by three and three quarters. Oh yeah, the two colored. That was right. I just cut them wrong. Okay, so this is our dimensions. This is our card base. This is our three colored ones, which would be the um, granny apple green here. 
and then two colored ones, which are these two misty moonlights at one and a half by three and three quarters, and then one white one at one and a half by three and three quarters. The inside here is four by five and a quarter. Crumb cake is two by five and a half. The layer under it is two and a quarter by five and a half. So, yay. Cute, right? I love this. Now, don't forget. Oh, look at I forgot to do. Oh, I'm so mad. I have to do this. It's time to celebrate. And I forgot to put this in there. Oh, I know why. Oh, I didn't mess it up. It's time to celebrate. I just noticed it because it was on here. The reason why these are lighter is I stamped them off so that I would be able to see this better. And this is stamped off, I think, twice. The blue is the shell. Super cute. Love these. Okay, let me put these away. And while I am doing that, you guys can get a drink, beverage of your choice. I have to take a little drink. I gotta make sure I clean these up before I leave too, because I don't want to come home to dirty stamps, right? That's not gonna be good. Here, I'm gonna grab another case to put this all in. But yeah, this Turtle Friends is so cute and who doesn't love a punch right punches are the best they're like my favorite and then we used the biggest wish this is an outstanding sentiment set you're gonna see so many pretty things with this all right next up we are going to bring in our next card Another fun fold. Now, we're going to be using the Your A Peach Designer Series paper. It says specialty on here. It's not specialty. And before I forget to tell you guys, I also have another card coming out on the 20th, which is a Sunday, using this suite of products also. So you'll have to watch for that. It's I think it's another fun fold too. All right. This is the June online class that I do with Barb and Dina. So if you usually order from Barb or Dina for your online classes, please make sure you stick with that. We don't want to be um, stealing customers or anything like that. But don't order this class from me if you do get it from Barb or Dina because it's going to be the same one. Included in this online class, option number one is the stamp set and the dies, some champagne or a whole pack of champagne rhinestones, this beautiful pale papaya um, weaved ribbon. What's it called? It's called woven ribbon, woven. The pack of designer series paper, and then also the dots and checks embossing folders. So you get both of these in one pack. Now, if you already have these, you can choose anything else for $8 when you order option number one. That option is $95. When you order option number one from me, you're going to get the make and take packet for nine different cards with a video tutorial, exclusive video tutorial for each one, written instructions, photographs included when you order option number one. You kind of get that all free. Now, if you already have some of this stuff, option number two is going to include the ribbon, the rhinestones. Oh, I forgot this. It also comes with linen thread, option one and option two. Option two, you get this, the ribbon, the linen thread, and the make and take packet for nine cards with the video tutorials, the written instructions, and the photographs for $45 you will have to have your own designer series paper. So just know that. And also, if you don't have these, you may want them. Otherwise, um, an embossing folder of a small pattern will work, right? Sometimes we can work around stuff. Okay, I'm going to get out oops, all my layers here. Now, this peach set is stinking awesome. Oh, did I show you Lisa's card? Let me show you Lisa's card first. I just saw it sitting here and I forgot. She used Bermuda Bay with, um, I think, Coastal Cabana and then the Granny Apple Green. This is some of our in 
uh, pool party, so settles. No, let me see. Which paper does that come from? Oh, this is from the party pattern paper pack. Isn't that cute? And then here's Lisa's card. Isn't that fun? Yeah, this is where I got the idea. So Lisa, thank you so much. Absolutely adorable. Now this next card, oh, where did I get this one from? Oh, you guys, I might be in trouble. Um, I thought I kept, oh yeah, I have the, I have the um, sample here. This is from Mary Stroman. Beautiful, beautiful fun fold also. Um, here comes my piercing mat. I gotta get this back in here. So what I've got here is a piece of the designer series paper. And this is, oh, by the way, sorry, let's back up a minute. You have option one with the whole enchilada of product for the online class. Option two has, you know, these things with the make and take packet. Option three is a PDF file by itself and that's $20. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that. Okay, we are going to take our paper trimmer and this piece of designer series paper is five and a half by 12. And what we're going to do here is we are going to do some scoring. Let me get all this out of the way. We're going to score this at two. And you don't want to score designer series paper very hard, right? You don't push too hard or it'll tear. Two, four, and then eight and ten. Otherwise, you can flip it around and do two and four again. But I'm going to keep going here. Eight and ten. Okay. We're not done with this yet. We're going to bring in a ruler and a pencil. And we're going to measure a little hash mark halfway on each end. And our hash mark is going to be at two and three quarters because that's half of five and a half. So we've got two and three quarters right here and two and three quarters down at this end. You need to be able to see these because we're gonna cut this off. So I'm gonna fold on that second score line in from each end, okay? So I, just so I can see it a little bit better. And now we're gonna cut from that score line down to the mark that we just made. So I need to make sure that that score line is in my channel and my little mark is in my channel. And that looks pretty good. Don't lose sight of that. We're gonna do the same thing on the other end. My little pencil mark is right there my score line or fold is right here and we're going to cut and we're not going to lose that okay now we're ready to have some fun we're ready to do a little decorating so here's our fun fold we are going to burnish these edges and then we're going to take this one and we're going to fold it back okay look at how pretty that is now you get to decide which way you want this to go. Do you want it to go this way? Or do you want it to go the other way? This way or this way? It's completely up to you. And I'm gonna just take a look at this again. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have it go this way. <laughs> okay, so now what you're gonna do, let me get these burnished again good is you're going to, this is also scored, okay? Also scored. So you're going to take one of these, oops, let's do this again. Okay, so this is, this is what we have here. You're gonna take one of these and go just like this, okay? And that's going to look like that. Pretty cool, right? Um, let me see what I can do here. 
Ooh, I know, our peach is gonna be upside down, so if that really bothers you, let's take a look at this. You may want to use the other side. Okay, so let's try that. I wasn't really thinking about that, and I haven't... Oh yeah, I did make this card. <laughs> I'm like, I haven't made this card yet, but I did make it. Okay, so then we're gonna turn this like this, okay? And we're gonna put this on here. I think I do wanna do it the other way because I've got the other card facing the other way. So we'll have we'll have um, some differences that we can look at, okay? I'm gonna do it this way. All right, this is gonna get glued on here. This is gonna get glued on here. I'm gonna go ahead and put that glue on. Just like this. And you wanna just take your Take your piece and fold it over and come on. push this down so it's going over that folded edge and then it's even with the bottom here, okay? And then this will fall right into place. And I've got some adhesive here, which I'm gonna have to get rid of. Hang on, because I kind of smushed it around. This is just an old adhesive racer that I have. We don't sell these anymore, unfortunately, but they were wonderful. Okay, there we go. Look how pretty that is, right? Okay, let me get this out of the way. And we'll put this one in place. Maybe this time I will only put glue on this piece. Hang on, my crown is falling off. <laughs> yes, I'm still wearing it even though I probably don't have to, right? <laughs> okay, we're gonna put this in place. Even with the bottom, okay? And then we can add some glue here, right? That's gonna work out better, then I won't get glue everywhere. There we go. Oh my gosh, isn't this so pretty? Yeah, I love this, okay? now. We're gonna do a little bit of stamping. So, um, let's see. I am going to, okay, uh, I have some dies here someplace that I can't locate anymore. Well, anyways, I had a circle die and a scallop die. So right here, whatever fits the image that you plan on using. Oh, here they are, right here. Okay, so I die cut this. And I die cut this at a Calypso Coral. So those are both done. Then I'm going to come in and do a little fun technique with my peach. So here comes Calypso Coral and Petal Pink. We're going to take our big peach and we're gonna ink it up in the Petal Pink. And then we are going to take a sponge dauber in the Calypso Coral and we're gonna dauber that around the edge of our peach. And you just wanna kind of angle it so you're just getting it around the edge. You don't want it to get too dark. Puff on it. Like a little, hang on, I got a little, nope, that wasn't a little mark in there. Um, I thought I had a little piece of lint or something. So we're gonna try that again. Cause I just scratched some, oh, it's under my stamp. That's why <laughs> I just scratched some ink off. That will never do. So we'll do that again. So you get a double duty here. It's like, oh, did you want to see me do this again? Of course you did, right? Yeah. Okay, now we're going to stamp it. Huff on it like you're going to clean your glasses. Look at how pretty it is with that extra color around the outside edge. Now, I wanted to show you what it looks like if you don't do that. We've got a scrap here. And it's beautiful, right? It's a beautiful peach, but look at how much... That's just, I love that look. Love it, love it. Okay, next we're gonna take um, some early espresso. And where did our little words go? I was using this peach from my other card that's in a blog hop. Um, we're going to, hang on, I've lost track of myself here. We're gonna stamp this sweet as a peach in early espresso. And I'm going to stamp that right in the middle of my peach. Isn't that cute? And then we're gonna use the scrap. And 
Hang on a second, I lost something. I got my dimensionals here. And I know that I die cut a piece, but I can't find it. Okay, so we'll just do it again. Here we go. Here comes our pretty leaves. This is for the top of the peach. Now I'm going to grab, you can wipe this off if you want, or if you're using a darker color, you don't really have to. I just wiped off the stem. I'm gonna come in with an early espresso Stampin' Right marker, huff on it, and stamp that. So now we have a brown stem with the green leaves. And I did have this stamped and die cut, so I wouldn't have to take time to do this for you but I can't find it. It'll come up as soon as I'm done doing this. You guys know how that works, <laughs> right? That's exactly what will happen. Okay, I have some temporary tape here and this will cut out this whole little thing. Okay, hang on, let's get this stuff. Well, I'm gonna need that again, so let's just move it over. Too many things laying out here. That's what. Oh, look it! I found it. I was just gonna bring in my baby boss, but here it is. Yeah, I knew. I knew I'd find it as soon as I got ready to die cut another one. So, voila! Die cut! Yay us! We are winning. <laughs> I think that needs a little unicorn action. Yep. <laughs> okay, here comes our little peach. And we're going to just glue this right on to the peach, the leaf thing. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on there. And we're gonna glue this right at the top. Now, I didn't put a whole bunch of glue all over these leaves, just a little bit right under here, okay? And then we're gonna adhere these together. I'm really missing my hearts that you guys give me when you like something. <laughs> You know, the hearts float up the screen. I really am missing that right now. Okay, here comes our card. Now, this is gonna go right in here, but you don't wanna put glue all over the back of this, right? You only wanna put glue on this piece right here. Not even that piece, just this piece. So, I am going to add some glue right there, not on here. And we're going to put our peach in place. And I'm just going to center that little peach. Oh my gosh, isn't this so pretty? Oh, look at how cute it is. Now, we need to do something with the inside. So I thought what I would do is I've got a white piece. And by the way, my white piece is three and a half by five. And then I've got a Calypso Coral that is three and three quarters by five and a quarter. It's a little bit narrower than a regular card inside. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take those pretty little flowers and I'm going to stamp them in the petal pink, right? Is that what I'm using? I just wanna make sure, yes. And then I'm gonna come in with that dauber in the Calypso Coral and put a little bit of that around the outside of my flowers. Oh, this is so pretty. This is just such a neat technique. And I'm gonna stamp this in the bottom right corner. Isn't that pretty? Now we need some centers, right? You have this little stamp for the center of your flowers. And here goes one. You don't want to push real hard or it will make it go blah, right? And here's another one. Oh, isn't that pretty? Yeah, love that. Okay, let me get these all out of the way. We're going to adhere this to our Calypso. And then it's going to go in the inside of our card. Yep, just like that. Again, here's another prime example of your designer series paper doing almost all the work for you with the spectacular patterns, right? Look at how pretty that is. Yeah. Now, I don't have any embellishments that I'm going to add to this, but um, you certainly could if you wanted to. I think we've got enough going on here as it is. 
If you wanted to, you could maybe put, we could do something like this. Where did my bow jig go? Uh, who sees it? Right here. I would maybe make this a little bit smaller. And again, I'll do, oh, let's just do a triple bow. I'll do a triple bow. That's gonna be pretty substantial. I think this will look good on here because I, I really do like the linen thread, the crumb cake linen thread color with um, peaches and apples and any type of fruit really because I just think it goes along well with it. Mini glue dots. Look at, I didn't even lose those tonight, but I have lost my take your pick tool. Here it is. I don't have anybody here to help me to tell me where all my things are. You guys are always so good about that. How about if we put a little bow right here? Oh my goodness gracious. That is perfect, right? Yeah. Oh, I think I hear people outside. Man, let me look. Are my people here? Yep, I do. I hear kids here. Gosh, just in time because we're almost done. Good timing. Okay, so I was going to I was going to show you this has the blue paper. This one has the peachy paper. So, they're both, you know, they're both kind of very similar. I don't think it really makes any difference which way you go with that, but how pretty, right? Yeah absolutely gorgeous okay so um i've got all the dimensions and stuff i'll have those available on my blog you guys if you would like to order any of these kits please head over to my blog and look for the information on the kits you'll find them there this is my current host code i always appreciate your orders if your order is under 150 dollars please use this code if it's over 150 dollars don't use the code you're gonna get um some rewards from Stampin' Up, and I definitely want you to have those. But when your order's under $150, you don't get any rewards, and I will take and accumulate rewards to give you guys all these door prizes that I like to give away, right? Okay, here comes our turtles. So we have, whoops, hang on, I just got that stuck on something. Ugh. There we go. Hang on, my bow got stuck on something. We have our turtle class. This is my kit class for the month. And we also have our online class using the um, You're a Peach bundle. So we've got our two turtle cards. Here's our peachy cards. I have another peach card coming your way on the 20th. That'll be coming out. And I also wanted to show you my mail. I've got a few mail items here. Some beautiful cards that people sent me. So hang tight. We have this one from Pamela Palm. Look at how pretty that is. I love this. And it says, it's taken me a while, but thank you for your card. This is a card made with the first SU set. I hope you like it. It's her first Stampin' Up! set. You did a fantastic job, Pam. Way to go. Next, we have Gloria Shermo. <gasps> Look at this. This is a book binding. Our team, Gloria is part of our team, and um, our team did a little mystery, I think it was mystery, no, it was the Make It Monday challenge with the book binding layout. And this is the one that Gloria made. And she says, thank you for the gift certificate for making Bronze Elite. She promoted to Bronze Elite, and she got a Stampin' Up! paper trimmer from me. Yay! She says, I love being part of your team. Gloria, I love having you. Next up, Oops, hang on. Oh, I missed that. Where'd my, where'd my can go? Next up, we have, this is from Pauline St. Louis. Oh my gosh, Pauline is the sweetest, sweetest lady. She's from Livonia, Mich Michigan. And look at how pretty this card is. Hang on. Let me get this out of here. Look at how pretty her card is. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. And Pauline says, I did not, not forget the wonderful thing you did when you sent me the bundle Beautiful World as a gift. Unfortunately, it came a couple days after. Oh, she fractured some bones in her left foot. So she's been elevated for a while. And um, yeah, Pauline says that she is up there in age. I'm not going to reveal her age, but... Um, she says she's still stamping, and I'm just so happy to hear that. 
Pauline likes to call me with her orders and I am happy to be able to put those in for her. Pauline, it is just a pleasure having you as part of my paper crafts, right? Absolutely love that. I love that Pauline is still stamping. This beautiful card is coming from mom. This is from my mom. Isn't this pretty? Yeah, I don't know where she got this. <laughs> Thank you so much for the lovely flowers, even the one I forgot. They will bring so much enjoyment through the summer. Love, mom. Mom, you're welcome. I love buying my mom flowers. Okay, and then um, this, oh, I can't remember who sent this to me. Hang on. This came in from Amazon, and it is Chicken Poop Lip Balm. <laughs> and it's moisturizer for your lips. And I think it's just kind of a funny little thing, but somebody makes it. And I have to check this out. Chicken poop. It doesn't smell like poop. Nope, we used to have chickens. I hated them. Oh my gosh, that feels so nice. Do you, is, do you find it odd that I would just take something called chicken poop lip junk and just put it right on my lips without much question. <laughs> it says ingredients, it says chicken, see it says 100% pure free range chicken poop lip junk. Put, put it on your lips. And it has avocado oil, beeswax, jojoba oil, lavender essential oil, sweet orange essential oil, and vitamin E. Contains no poop. A product of Kansas, I love chicken poop .com. <laughs> And I know somebody contacted me and told me they were going to be sending this to me, but I can't remember who it is. So if it's you, please let me know because it came from Amazon. So it doesn't have any address on here of who actually sent it to me. And it's hysterical. And it is wonderful. I put the poop right on my lips. <laughs> That's a great reason to uh, sign off, but I've got a couple more cards to share. This is from Carrie Schwanke. I can't thank you enough. Look at how pretty her card is. That is just beautiful. It says, thank you so much for the bow maker. Such a treat to receive such a nice surprise in the mail. I had a challenge for my team members and they all got some um, free bow makers if they, if they made it. And she said, um, Da, da, da. Thanks again for everything. Carrie, you are so welcome. Thank you so much for the beautiful card. And then I got this one from my friend Susan Hines. She lives down in Grafton, Wisconsin. You make the world a better place. It says, we met on June 15th, 2020. And since then, I watched many hours of your Facebook Lives. I admire the way you keep family a priority as you build your business. <gasps> Susan, you are the sweetest. And guess what? I'm going to make my family a priority in just a few minutes here because... I am going to sign off and head out to the pool. Look at this. This is our last one. This is a gorgeous card from Linda Fouts. And by the way, thank you, Susan. You are always so sweet. But look at this with that shimmer paper. The butterflies are die cut out of the shimmer paper. And then I can't remember what this embossing folder is called, but it's in the new annual catalog. I haven't used it yet. Look at how pretty that is. This card comes to us from Linda Fouts. It says... Thank you for the bow maker. I enjoy making cards and I love this rainbow glimmer paper. It is a must have. Thanks for all the ideas and tips from your online demonstrations. Um, your team member. So there we go. And Linda has a new address. Linda, you are so very welcome. Thank you for this beautiful card. Oh my goodness. I love it. All right, you guys. I think we are done. Um, there was only one more thing. Thing. Let me see. Hang on. I've got some weird stuff happening here on my screen. I was going to show you guys the rest of my pictures from Little Miss Val. Haley bought me a um, photo shoot for Mother's Day with my grandbaby. And what an incredible gift that was, right? So I'm going to bring my laptop in and hopefully you guys will be able to see these. Oh, I don't know if I hope they're going to show up okay. I can't really see my screen because my holder's right in the middle of it. But here comes, isn't that cute? Me and Haley. Look at all these pictures. So I'll just run through some of my faves. I hope you guys can see this. I'm going to move it over to the side. Oh, yeah, you can see it pretty good, I think. 
So look at all these pictures. Just fantastic. Look at it, isn't she so cute? Oh my good Lord. <laughs> we had so much fun. And now I have the hard task of which ones do I get printed and display them? You know, which ones am I going to do that with? Yeah. Aren't they? Look at her. She is just the cutest little thing ever. Love, love, love this baby. And she's, she's coming over today. I don't think she's here yet, but hopefully I won't cause her harm. <laughs> you know, smashed fingers, bruised cheek. What else? I did something else to her too. Oh, bonked her right between the eyes with a golf ball that bounced too hard on the, on the ground. And Steve didn't catch it. And that gave her a bruise. I am rough, <laughs> but she still loves me. Yesterday, she got one of those little, little tykes, um, plastic yellow car things. Haley got it for $2 at a rummage sale, and Val just loves it. And it's to keep here, so that'll be a lot of fun. And she loves the swimming pool. Oh, my goodness. So many pictures, right? How do you even pick? Like, insane. Yeah. Love, love, love. I'm always kind of rough with her. That's probably why, you know, we have injuries. That's just the way I roll. There's no girl, boy, I don't care. We're not pussyfooting around here. <laughs> this is my favorite. She picked me to kiss. See that? Me. I'm just teasing. Oh my gosh. Love this baby. All right, you guys, that is it. I am going to leave you on that note. Please have yourselves a wonderful week. Um, I will be back on the 27th for sure. Don't know if I'll be able to fit anything in prior to that. We're coming back from Wyoming on the 21st, which means I probably won't get home till late and da-da-da. Um, won't be ready to roll again until the 22nd. But have yourselves a wonderful week. Thank you for tuning in with me. Please make sure you share this on Facebook. Um, you can ring that bell on YouTube. That really helps me out. I really appreciate you spending a little time with me tonight. Have yourselves a wonderful week. Bye-bye.